Warframe community. This game is broken and needs a lot of fixes. It is so buggy. Also, the Warframe community. Why do you want to fix these bugs? It's just a PvE game. Who cares if something's broken and does too much damage? Me dies of cringe. <laughs> If you like this video and you want to see more, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much. And don't forget to join up with the Discord to continue the conversation over there. And then a special thank you to our channel members, Wookie, Nicholas Mickelson Triumph, Mr. Aether Gaming, The Marinade, Sam Othrace, Brother Man Bull, Atom Ismay, Inksy Pinksy, and Toasted Spectre. And then a very special thank you to Lazy Frame, J Cool, Fohorn, and Mithrin Who who joined at family level. And then a super big thank you to the absolute legends, Charles Thomas II, and Mr. Porno for joining at the highest tier. Thank you guys so, so much for your support. I see some of the guys are now at three months supporting the channel. Thank you guys so much. It's it's crazy to me that, that I have memberships. Insane. Thank you guys so, so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So if you didn't know, I released a video on Degarth where she was seemingly doing damage cap numbers and me posting that video and asking DE to get it fixed sparked some people to go out in outrage and go from being angry about me exposing it i guess to just outright personally insulting which is normal you know i guess it's it's kind of what you sign up for if you do youtube in any capacity so not to get too bogged down by the negativity which there wasn't a lot of to be fair none of my comment sections are ever super negative it's always 99 percent super positive and then you know the one percent is absolute aid but that's fine so i've got some updates today so like i mentioned in that video i sent an email to de to get these changes fixed they did reply but it was quite generic so i'm assuming it was just like kind of a ticket logged they said hi there thank you for bringing this to our attention we'll be sharing your findings with our team for review kind regards de uday so thank you uday for replying and cool it seems to be on their radar now when i posted that video it sparked quite a bit of conversation in the discord and we quickly actually noticed that it was a visual bug because that's that's exactly what it is so you're not actually doing the two billion damage it's just a visual bug so that just basically means that the destruction that you saw in that video was just the build being good so there is a way to kind of like fix this issue i guess that is by not subsuming doom so if you want to run wrathal advance which is a really strong option with the goth rather put it on her one or four if you subsume over doom it causes this issue when it is subsumed onto her one like mine is the damage is still crazy but it's not obviously two billion so it's it's the actual numbers and yes it does actually just melt everything in the steel path very easily so next i'm going to explain the logic on how i actually found this bug out it's not rocket science right so the idea with subsuming over her two was that with the augment her three causes doom right so why would you want doom on the build but what what DE again with their wonderful tooltips don't tell you is that if you subsume any ability over Doom, it actually takes away the scaling completely. It defaults it to the default 35%. Meaning if you subsume Wrathful Advance and the numbers weren't broken, you're going to get lower numbers on your doomed enemies than you would get without subsuming Doom. So bottom line, do not subsume Doom at all. Thank you to Le Doom Palustre 6 nine your name is very fun to say uh, thank you for this guy for just giving me actually this info i didn't know because it doesn't tell you anywhere unless you go read the wiki the second reason why you wouldn't want to use this interaction is because it actually gets logged into the log file this will get logged with a message called warning high damage and then it will have a integer number after that as like a two point whatever billion damage and it will also log it as an error got negative amount of damage in process text and then it will have the minus two billion number there the reason why this is important to note is because this is data and a data model will pick this up and chuck it into the red flag bin so this means that your account is essentially getting red flagged and if it happens consistently this could possibly lead to a ban or some restriction or something i'm not 100 sure but i know that these kind of errors are obviously flagged because why would they ignore errors i don't know so there's basically all the reasoning that you need to not subsume doom so for now 
now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you this exact same copy paste build, but I've just moved Wrathful Advance from her Doom ability over to her one. I've rather subsumed it there. And I'm going to show you the performance in a map, just one map. And let's just quickly do this showcase as intended, I guess. And then we can move on. Hope this was helpful to you guys. And yeah, it's just a visual bug. So you're not getting extra damage. And I'm assuming this will not get fixed until 1999 because they are on pause at the moment with hot fixes. Very cool. In any case, there you go. All right. So if anything, that video should just show you that that build I was using on Dagoth, which is this build. It's just a really strong build. That's it. I'm going to I'm going to take this into the steel path quick and do like a little bit of a showcase. I'm not going to do like a long thing as well, but just a little bit of a showcase to show you that, yeah, this is actually just a super strong build and it will now be working as intended. So here we go. I also did test it out in a bit of an endurance run as well. It doesn't scale. Like I've done this, the combo for quite a while, it just doesn't scale anymore. So that's, that's good. It seems that this way of building it where, where you just kind of do it normally, that, that seems to fix it, right? But anyway, let's do Wrathful Advance and you should be seeing like the enemies are just disappearing, right? So this is the actual intended performance. Just like that. As you can see like super 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 strong like it's it's amazingly powerful so yeah that build is just pretty solid but if you build it this way where you just move the wrathful advance that's all i changed about this build is i just moved where i put wrathful advance then the performance should be this pretty much so very solid the golf build if you if you need it Also, you get the grave spirit back, you know, the whole time. Like it's 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 very easy to maintain and keep up. You keep it up and maintain it exactly like I showed in the video as well. And this is pretty much it. Also, just another thing that I want to quickly show off is um, I Wrathful Advance snapshotted, right? So there's the red crit still. And now when it falls off, it should go back to yellow crits, right? There we go. Just like that. So that's just showing you that it is working as intended. Here's the Acolyte. And one shot just like in that footage of like the damage cap numbers so the same there you go and that's it uh, i hope this video didn't come off too harsh it was just kind of me speaking my mind about some things i don't like gatekeeping it's super cringe to me it's it's like golf damning the game and it's come so far that there are many interactions in this game that's buggy and if you reveal it to me i will show it to everybody and mail it to de so feel free to do that if you want something fixed but i know obviously the the gatekeep community which there is one or two i know this it's literally a dies of cringe community and that is like stupid i don't know man i don't know i don't know what you do you guys think it's right to gatekeep shit i know that you are scared you know you found this thing and it's like super strong and you know you can clear stuff easily with it but goddamn man it's just a game about farming and we are not struggling to farm and this game is broken why are we trying to keep bugs from de so that they can fix it genuinely like it's it's a genuine question i i don't understand like i, I know the the obvious answer Answer is well then they'll nerf something that i like now the thing is what i i'd say rather is create you know a video about it explaining and justifying why it's something that could be fair and justified within the game and if it's good you'll probably get support from it like and he would implement it if it makes sense they have done it before you know just just give the company and this game a chance i think i, I don't know it feels stupid to me that people came and said like why are you trying to nerf it you are like the anti-fun guy and 
and uh, I don't know. It's because the game's broken. I don't want it broken. It's it feels really counterproductive to have a game that you want to succeed, and on the same hand, you also want broken stuff in the game that doesn't function correctly. So I don't know. That, that was the whole reason behind it. Whatever your view is, let's discuss it down below. Let's actually open up this argument to the floor. Let's see. My feeling towards it is it's dumb. It's stupid. And if you feel that a bug needs to be in the game for you to enjoy it more, that just sounds like stupid. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. I could be wrong about this. I'm not trying to be like bitchy about it. I'm trying to open up a conversation, you know, and feel free to be honest in the comment sections. Don't be a dick, right? That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is be honest about what is your actual thoughts about it, like genuine thoughts about it. Anyway, let me know down below. What's your thoughts about it? It'll be an interesting conversation. Anyway, <laughs> thanks guys. Cheers.